right. So, <clears throat> let's now look, let's say I have a bar, and this is x direction, and I'm going to pull on the bar and apply a load out here. I'm going to pull on the bar, so it's going to deform, and I want to know at some arbitrary point that I'm going to call, you know, I'm going to say, what's the displacement u at some arbitrary x? That's going to be u of x. So right now we're talking about an elastic material. So what we'd end up with, if we actually did this experiment, right, if it's a truly elastic material, I'd pull on it, and I would get u of x is a function of x, and this would be a straight line with slope m. And so let's say that at x0, I know u0. And I ask you, sort of, let's define another point out here, x1, u1. And I, and I ask you, you know, say, given u0, x0, and m, What is u1 at x1? How do you answer that? How about you just write down the equation of the line? <coughs> so um, you say u1 u1 is equal to m x1 minus x0 plus u0. And let's say that, let's, let's define a new, um, just for shorthand, let's say that x1 minus x0 is h. So then, <coughs> I'm just going to rewrite this. u1 is also u at x0 plus h. Right? So u1 corresponds to the position x1, and x1 is also, given this definition, is x0 plus h. Right? So, so then I have m h plus u at x0. Now I'm just going to solve this equation for m. I'm going to take the limit as both sides as h goes to 0. What, what, is, the, what is this thing? By definition, huh? It's, well, I'm taking the limit as this goes to zero. It's the derivative, right? It's the derivative of u with respect to x. And of course, this is the slope of the line, right? We know that. So this 
is our mathematical definition of strain. Right? So we said, uh, this is our definition of strain. In this case, it's just one dimensional, so we're just talking about the strain in the x direction. This is our mathematical definition of strain. Because we just, we just took two points, u0, right, and u, we just took two points, u, u at x0 and u at x1, and we wrote down their change in length, right, over the length, and then we took the limit as that goes to 0. So in words, this is the change in length over length, and this is just the limiting case, right? So this is, mathematically, this is our definition of strain. So 